Yeah, off and on I keep in touch and they're nice enough to let me hang around still and come by and, and greet the new athletes and the new members of the family. And I, I continue to play in college and on the national team and overseas professionally. So I definitely attribute to my success on the field and off the field to, to this program. They really influenced me a lot and really gave me the inspiration to know and the motivation to know that I can do it with hard work. Did you, did you get to talk with any of the athletes that um, were nominated this year, and what advice did you have for them, or what advice do you have for them? And that's the neat thing, getting to interact with the modern-day athletes. Yeah. I, I got to meet one girl who's actually going to my alma mater next year, Stanford, and she was the volleyball winner, so that's so exciting. And we both play the same sport, and it's just I'm just inspired by them. And it just takes you back down memory lane to remember those days when when you were there. Anytime. And time flies. Yeah. The, the advice I gave them was to really enjoy this moment and really feel the moment and be in the moment because it goes by so fast. It does. And how do you think that your sport experience has kind of helped you outside of sports? That's a great question. How the sport? Like, yeah, it's. Outside of sports is life, and sometimes we get caught up in the sports moment, but I love what Alonzo said at the end of the banquet. He said that at some point the ball's going to stop, stop dribbling, and us athletes, we don't like to, um, to know to have that happen, but it's a reality, so we just have to to deal with it and know that there's more to life. And that's the cool thing I like about the Gatorade program. It's not only about athletic accomplishments, but it's your accomplishments off and on the court that are also recognized. So that also encourages the modern-day student-athletes to strive to be more well-rounded.